If you want to up the street appeal for your 2018 or newer 3.6 liter JL Wrangler when it comes to the look and the sound, this Flowmaster Outlaw Catback exhaust system with the black tips will be a great pick. Now getting right into sound, this is going to be a 4 out of 5 on the loudness meter with 1 being completely stock and 5 being wake the neighbors loud. Now this is really going to up the volume and change the tone of the exhaust creating a deeper and more throaty sound out of the 3.6 liter with little to no drone inside the cab area. Now that's going to make it a great pick for the JL owner looking for that extra volume and aggressiveness compared to other more mild systems while still maintaining a comfortable environment inside the cab for day to day or highway cruising. This exhaust will feature that notable outlaw volume and sound that I mentioned because of the tuned mid-pipe resonator, but if you're looking to up the ante, this includes an optional resonator delete pipe. Now, thanks to the setup and the Outlaw's straight-through style muffler, you can also expect to see some small gains out of the system when it comes to horsepower and torque, as well as efficiency for some better performance for your 3.6 liter. Now, this will also feature a sleek dual rear exit configuration with the large four-inch angle cut tips, which will offer that aggressive appearance to the exhaust, especially paired with the black semi-gloss finish. When it comes to the construction, this is going to be made of a two and a half inch mandrel bent 409 stainless steel, offering streamlined and smooth airflow. The tips on the back are going to be made of 304 stainless steel, which will offer the most rust resistance out of a stainless steel material that's going to offer a lot of longevity in the appearance. Now, the rear portion of the exhaust is also going to have this black powder coat finish that you see here to offer additional rust resistance and, of course, that more aggressive look that you may be in search for. This exhaust is also going to reuse all of the factory hanger locations and come with everything that you need for a direct bolt-on install when it comes to getting this onto your JL. Will come in at right around the $950 mark. And when comparing this to other options, that's a pretty average price point for a full cap back exhaust system. Now, I think what stands out most is that this is not only going to offer that aggressive look out of the back with the dual black tip design, but will be one of the loudest choices if you're looking for an overall aggressive setup. Now, I think if you're looking for those benefits and you want to save a few bucks in the meantime compared to some more expensive choices out there, I think that this is going to be a great choice. Now, install is going to be a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you about two hours to get the job done with uh, some pretty basic hand tools and the right setup. But at this point, we can head over to the shop and check out a detailed breakdown of what that install looks like step by step. So that's going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Tools required for this install include an impact gun, a ratchet, an exhaust hanger remover tool, a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench, an extension, a 13 and 15 millimeter socket, a swivel adapter, a can of penetrating lubricant, a rubber mallet, and a pry bar. What's up guys? Today we're installing an exhaust on our Wrangler. First we're going to watch a quick little uninstall video for how to uninstall the stock exhaust and I'll meet you right back here for the install. First thing I'm going to do is loosen this clamp up here with a 15 millimeter socket and we're going to work on getting this muffler out. So we're going to support our muffler with a pole jack and then we're going to remove our hangers on both sides. You're going to have a hanger over here at the top, hanger over there. There's going to be two bolts in it. We're going to use a 13 millimeter wrench and socket to get those out. Now the first thing we're going to do is remove this side bolt here. This bolt is easily accessed with a 13 millimeter wrench. You can also use a socket from up above a sway bar. After that, above that bolt and a little bit further towards the back of the Jeep, you're going to have a 13 millimeter bolt up in there. So we're going to take a 13 millimeter socket on an extension. Pull that bolt out, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. At this point in time, you're going to hold your muffler up, remove your pole jack, get Meredith from XT to take it away for you, and we're just going to wiggle this thing back and off. So next, we're going to go up to the end of our Y pipe next to our transfer case. You're going to have a V band clamp. We're going to use a 13 millimeter socket to loosen that up. 
Next, we're going to follow our exhaust back to our next hanger by our axle, and then we're going to remove that from the rubber bushing. When you get the hanger off, you can remove the rest of your system. So our first step is to install our front muffler. Now the first thing I'm going to do is pull the hardware the rest of the way out of this clamp just to make it easier on us. So we'll just unthread that and put that to the side for now. And now I've got a pole jack here to support the weight of the back of the muffler so that we can get this clamped on straight. And then with our hardware removed from the clamp, we can pull to separate it. So now with our hardware removed from our clamp, we can spread this apart to get it over the flange on our muffler. And then we can reinstall our hardware. And then we can come in with our 13 millimeter socket to tighten down our clamp. Next, we can install our mid pipe. So we're gonna grab one of our clamps and slide it onto our muffler outlet. Now this bend's gonna be going towards the driver's side of our Jeep. So we'll get that in there, slide our clamp into position, and tighten it down with a 15 millimeter socket. Next, we can install our over axle pipe. So we'll grab another clamp and slide that onto our mid pipe. And then we can raise up our over axle pipe and wiggle that into place. And then we'll raise that up and into our hanger. And then next we can grab our clamp and slide that into place and tighten it down with our 15 millimeter socket. So now we're ready to install our rear muffler. Now I've got our two brackets with our rubber isolators that we removed during the uninstall. These can just slide right onto our posts, just like that. And then we'll get our clamp onto our over axle pipe, slide this over our over axle pipe, and then we can install the hardware for our brackets. So now we'll slide our clamp over that over axle pipe. and then lift our muffler up. Slide that into our pipe. So now we can move our bracket up into place and reinstall our two 13 millimeter bolts. And then we'll grab our 13 millimeter socket to tighten these down. and then we can do that same thing on the other side. And now we can just come back to our last clamp, slide it in place, and then take our 15 millimeter socket to tighten it down. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Flowmaster Outlaw Catback Exhaust with black tips for your 2018 and newer 3.6 liter Jeep Wrangler JL. Thank you for watching and for all things Wrangler, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.